five, four, three, two, one. Hello, my friends. I'm glad you're here. Today, we're going to learn about and do some art like an artist called Keith Haring. Keith Haring was an American artist born in the U.S. in Reading, Pennsylvania, and he lived in New York City for most of his life. Mr. Herring started making art as graffiti in the New York subway system. Mr. Herring used to sign his work as a graffiti artist with an image called the Radiant Baby. In addition to his graffiti type pieces, Herring also got involved in sculpture. Here you can see his barking dog. We'll need some vocabulary for our artwork today. The first word that we'll need is emphasis. That's when something is more visible than the other things in a piece of art. The second word we need is movement. It's when something in an artwork appears to be moving even though it is still. We also need the word line. We'll be using lots of lines for this artwork. And rhythm. Rhythm is a pattern that creates a visual movement. Now let's start our artwork. I'm going to start my artwork by writing my name on my paper. As you can see, I have a little helper here with me. This is my cat, Calvin. Then I'm going to turn my paper over because I like to have my name on the back. You'll need to choose something to draw. You can draw people. If there are any around, you can ask them to pose for you. Or you could draw a stuffed animal. I also have a mannequin that I've drawn before. If you don't have any of these things, you can look up some photographs on the internet of people in action poses. If there's a sport you like, you could look for pictures of that sport. I'm doing a kind of drawing that's basically scribbling. I don't have to be careful with the crayon I'm using. It's an old crayon that I took the wrapper off of. It's called a gesture drawing, and I'm using my scribbles to show the basic shapes and forms of the stuffed animal. I'm not being super careful about this. It's okay when you're doing this kind of art that it doesn't look finished. And you can see that um, Calvin, my cat up in the corner, is really interested in watching my crayon move. This would be a great assignment to have some fun with. Make a mess. Scribble and scribble and scribble. And then when you're done, scribble some more. Practice this a few times. I'm adding another blue dog to my paper. Um, this one is going in the middle and after I do the blue one I'm going to do a green one on the right side. I decided that those were the colors that I wanted to choose and I wanted for it to be a very colorful paper with lots of movement in the scribbles and movement in the position of the dog. I was looking at my stuffed animal while I was drawing these, and every time I switched colors, I also changed the position of the stuffed animal so that it would look slightly different in the finished artwork. Again, I'm scribbling, and I'm not really worried about whether or not it's going to be perfect. I'm really interested in getting down the idea of the stuffed animal rather than a perfect picture of it. I want people to say, oh, that looks like it could be a dog, and that's about as far as I want to go with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, I want to have a little bit of fun with this. I'm also really surprised that Calvin decided to stay and watch me draw the whole thing. He doesn't usually do that. So now that I'm finished drawing the three dogs, I want to go back and add some emphasis to their movements. So I'm going to take some crayons and I'm going to make some movement lines. You've probably seen these in comics or they show them sometimes in animation when things are moving and they really want you to know that it's moving. Now that the movement lines are on, I'm done. After the stuffed animal, I decided to do another drawing with my mannequin, which you can see here. It only took me a few minutes to make the second one and as before, I added the lines for emphasis. Thanks for watching. Now go make something.